devastating video stuns all Americans. This is it. Four incredible true crime documentaries on Netflix. Before we can start the video, I would like to encourage all of you to watch the video until the end and share your personal opinion in the comment section down below about four incredible true crime documentaries on Netflix. This will help us create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. Number 1. Rotten. We all must eat. It's as simple as that. Even though we need mo food, most of us can grow our own and we have to buy our food from a store. But have you ever really thought about where the food comes from? Netflix's Rotten It's a six part documentaries and each episode look at a different food industry like the milk, fish and garlic. As you probably guess from the title, there are a lot of problems within the industry. Yes, the documentary has an activist slant to it, but it's that not exactly its focus. Instead, it's a fascinating true crime series. It looked at small individual crimes which each industry, as well as vast conspiracies revealing around something as innocuous as garlic. Rotten is a must watch for true crime buffs, people who love conspiracy theories or those who are suspicious of the corporate world. Number 2. Amanda Knox Amanda Knox, who was from Seattle, was living in Italy in 2007. In November, her roommate, Meredith Kircher, was stabbed to death. Knox told the police she spent the night at her boyfriend's home and she returned to find Kircher's dead. DNA evidence and bloody fingerprints placed pretty crime Rudy Getty in the apartment of the night of the murder. Why the case of Amanda Knox is so fascinating and horrifying to so many people is explained in one sentence by Knox at the beginning of the documentary about her case, I am either a psychopath in ship's clothing or I am you. The documentary examines the crime from all angles and goes beneath the tabloid headlines and it's up to the viewers to decide is Knox a monster or a victim or just gone awry. Number 3. Casting John Bennett Casting Joe Bennett ex examines one of the most infamous unsolved crimes of the 20th centuries, the murder six-year-old child beauty pageant contestant John Bennett Ramsey. Early on the morning of the day after Christmas 1996, John Bennett's mother, Patricia Ramsey, called the Boulder, Colorado 911 dispatch to say her daughter was missing. Patricia said that she found the three-page ransom note demanding the same amount of money as her husband's recent bonus from work. John Bennett's body was found in the basement of the family's home about eight hours after Patricia called 9-11. An autopsy revealed she died from a fractured skull and strangulation. Casting John Bennett record the casting of amateur actors who live in Boulder, Colorado where the Ramsey family lived to reenact the crime and its aftermath. Through the reenactment, the actors discuss the crime from what they know about it. Then they try to put themselves in the same mindset of the Ramseys. By taking the approach, it brings a fascinating perspective to the murder, where the Ramsey acting naturally in the days and months after their daughter died, or they were hitting a dark secret. Number 4 Longshot. Longshot tells the amazing story of Juan Catalan, who was accused of killing a 16-year-old Marta Puebla. Marta had just testified against the gang and Catalan's brother was one of the co-defendants. Catalan swore he was innocent and he says that it was at the Los Angeles Dodgers game the night of the murder. Longshot is the shortest documentary on the list but is one of the most powerful. Without giving away too much details, it's about how sometimes, against all odds, the stars align perfectly and long shorts would work. Dear friends, as always in the second part of the video, I will present my personal opinion about the four incredible true crimes documentary on Netflix. I'll also encourage you, the viewer, to share your opinions about the rotten, a 
about the Amanda Knox, about casting John Bennett, and about Long Short. By sharing your opinion in the comment section will help us create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. So let's start. Well, I think that Netflix is one of the most avant-garde networks that there is on the market. Netflix baffled the odds and started from a company that sold DVDs or rented DVDs via via magazines to one of the biggest broad network broadband network or cloud sharing of movies company series company in the world Netflix in these times of pandemic got more and more subscribers and made the founder of Netflix earn more than 1 billion dollars a month in revenue Regarding this amazing series, Rotten is one of my favorite. We all eat, as the article says. We are all we are all in this um, mechanism of making money, eating the product that someone else is making it. But do we really know who's making the product and what are the conditions of creating that product, vegetables, uh, fruits and uh, also milk, uh, honey and all the bread, all the products that we need for our day, day by day eating? Well, unfortunately, we have only a glimpse of what a firm looks like. We only saw movies where um, animals and fruits and vegetables are uh, raised uh, as natural as possible. But the real truth that the industry of food it's become as it, it's a name, an industry. It's not so much as growing with the help of nature. It's somehow replacing nature, replacing God in this process and uh, accelerating the process of growing these products. Well, in my opinion, this is a bad thing because when you accelerate the growth of some products, the time that those products are delivered, the life shell products, uh, lifetime, life shell time for some products, this will eventually refract to the to the buyer and at e us will have a lot of suffering that we will take 